All right, Brock the Yahawa, Brock the Yahawa Sai, Brock the Yahawa, Brock the Yahawa Sai, Brock the Yahawa, Brock the Yahawa Sai, Baha Sun, Rakai Kodas. All right, I want to give double honors to our apostles, the great millstone who rule well, and peace and blessings to the house of David the elect. On the high spirit winds of the Jim Messmiths in the camp. Today I want to go into a lesson. All right, uh, basically, you know, about the times that we're coming into, okay? Because basically, we're in the time of scrutiny. We are in the time of um, persecution, all right? We are in the time that this truth is going to be on the forefront, but Esau wants to control the narrative, all right? And it tells you in Matthew that we should be hated of all men for his name's sake. So don't let, <coughs> don't let the, um, the fabricated narrative, per se, all right? Don't let that make you lose sight of what you're doing and why you're doing it, okay? Because it's not about a hate group. It's not about, you know, some domestic uprest, all right? That's just a, uh, a cover-up, all right? The elites know who you have by some outside. The elites know who we are, all right? The elites know that this is a sign. Seeing the prophets on the highways and the byways is a sign that um, their time is short. It tells you that in Revelations 12, that the devil know be here but a short time. Also in Job, I believe it's the fourth chapter. All right, it says that there's a bound that he can't pass, roughly paraphrasing. Meaning that, yeah, there's an expiration date towards his rulership, all right? There's an expiration date towards his rulership, man. So he knows that based on the signs, all right, it's time for him to wrap it up, okay? And the, the prophets on the highways and the byways is another sign that his, his kingdom is about to be destroyed, man, period. He's about to lose his kingdom, all right? And in a time of persecution, Esau's probably going to have some false flag attack. And amid, when he has that false flag attack, um, he's going to gather up a lot. He gonna, he's going to go for a lot of the men of the Lord. All right. And that's when you're going to see uh, clips of us on TV. All right. That's been edited. That's been altered. And, you know, he's going to demonize us towards the agenda. All right. Of putting us out as domestic terrorists. All right. But while that's going on, some men are going to be taken up in the camps, all right? Because Esau is going to fast forward. See, what he's doing now with this hate group movement, he's planting the seed, all right? <clears throat> Us along with Edomite so-called hate groups, all right? All right, but they've actually, a lot of them have actually committed crimes, all right? But he's putting them out so he can put us out, all right? So long story short, Esau is a chess player. All right, but you know, like I said, don't let what Esau is doing and the shock value of what he's doing make you lose sight of why you're doing what you do, man. This is not political, all right? This is not uh, about reform or this is not our carnal minds against Esau's power structure. This is your how about Shema all right? <clears throat> Setting up his men to raise up his people, the elect of his people, and to prophesy the downfall of this country, all right? We, we don't bear arms, all right, against this power structure. We're not militant, all right? This is about us exposing the lies, all right, and telling the truth that has been suppressed for hundreds of years, all right? Because, like I said, putting putting the picture of Caesar Borgir as, as, as the Messiah, that's hate, man, all right? That's, that's perjury, that's uh, impersonation, that's... that's <laughs> That's forgery, whatever. That's, that's everything, man. All right? Human trafficking. You built this country off of human trafficking. And what, and what do we get in return, man? Okay? That's hate, man. All right? You, how did you get this country? All right? How many so-called um, Hispanic and Native Americans have you slaughtered? All right? To get this country, man. All right? But, you know, I'm not even going to continue to harp on that. But the point is, don't let Esau, don't let Esau, well, don't let Esau, okay, create this false narrative and, 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 you, and you be moved by the shock value of that false narrative, all right? It's not some carnal with some mad black men, <clears throat> mad so-called black men. <clears throat> this is spiritual, all right? The scripture says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Mighty through Yahweh by Shema and pulling down strongholds. 
See, we're spiritually pulling down strongholds. And Esau doesn't know how to react carnally to something spiritual. Or he doesn't know how to counter something spiritual. So what he does, he just puts us in the category and say that we're a hate group. All right? <clears throat> He's basically calling us haters. All right? Once again, playing the victim. But the point is, man, you know, persecution is coming, but Yahweh is also coming. All right? And really, it's about damn time, to be honest. All right? Because this, um, this place is bitter. All right? And Esau is blatantly pushing a new world order satanic agenda for the whole world to be a reflection of Sodom and Gomorrah. Damn right we hate this shit, man. All right? But the point is, man, we're going to maintain our spiritual insight, man, and our spiritual perspective in the middle of these times, man. All right? But with that, I hope you brothers, brothers and sisters were edified. Once again, we want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Simi Havasai by Surah Kaifadash. I also want to give double honors to our apostles, the great millstone over well. He's invested in the house of David the elect. With that, a Baba Baal, Kamasha Allah, Shalom.